What we see as a marketplace, our enemies view as a battle space. That's sort of the tagline for the economic war room. It happens repeatedly, but it has never been more true than it is in the case of the Ant Group IPO. Ant Group, they expect to raise $30 billion soon, eclipsing the $25 billion raised by Jack Ma for Alibaba in 2014, and even beating the $29 billion that was captured by Saudi Aramco in January. Most investors see this as a simple financial transaction, and Wall Street seems eager to get in on the action. But there are multiple reasons to believe that it can get a lot more sinister. So just what is Ant Group? It used to be called Ant Financial Services, and it's partially owned subsidiary of Alibaba Group Holdings. Yes, the same Alibaba that took $25 billion from an American IPO just six years ago. And yes, the same Alibaba founded by Communist Party member Jack Ma. In fact, Communist Jack controls both Ant and Alibaba through holdings with other investor groups, as you can see in this chart from Bloomberg News. When you pull it all together, it's Jack Ma's company. That's who they are. But what do they do? Ant Group provides financial technology products and services. It dominates the Chinese market for mobile payment services with its Alipay platform. Think of it as Apple Pay, PayPal, Samsung Pay, all rolled into one. And Ant Group does more financial transactions worldwide than both MasterCard and Visa combined. Nearly $18 trillion are moved annually through their platform. $18 trillion. Yes, that's how much money Ant Group controls through its platform and 1 billion users. But it's more than just payments. Alipay also handles transactions for insurance, banking, loans, investments. That provides data into nearly all aspects of finance and life, both at the corporate and personal level. Ant's intention is to use the money that they get to expand globally. Right now, they're mostly in China, but with an extra $30 billion raised, they'll be able to take their show on the road, so to speak. The Chinese communists will be thrilled. They hope to capture dominance in all global financial transactions. Remember, they said they were going to de-dollarize the world and de-Americanize the world? This is part of that. It's also part of unrestricted warfare. That plan states, first amass a great deal of capital. This IPO will help them do just that. As we've shared many times, and most recently in episode 105, unrestricted warfare is a military doctrine designed to use non-military means to defeat an adversary. The doctrine was published in a book 20 years ago, and the Chinese Communist Party has followed it carefully to defeat America while we barely notice. In this case, we're talking about financial warfare, which they define as entering and subverting banking and stock markets to subdue an enemy. 20 years ago, the Chinese economy was about one-tenth the size of ours. But now their economy rivals ours, and they're using their newfound power to repress minorities, control their people, and commit human atrocities. Will investors in Ant Group be a part of that? With Ant Group entering banking and stock markets, the Chinese Communist Party could demand access to all financial transaction data. Just how comfortable are you that a self-admitted Chinese Communist Party member has a controlling interest in a company that has access to all of those financial transactions? Would you be willing to give them your money or access to your data? Unless something changes, you may not have a choice.